Hi, my name is Gordon Stack, and I'm a technical specialist here with RioSense. So we frequently get the question, you know, how do I know that my instrument is reading accurately, operating properly? And uh, to do that, I like to run you know, what I call system suitability. Now that's typically a term for, uh, for HPLC, but I like it and I think it applies to all analytical equipment. Really what a system suitability is, is running your standards at the start and end of your testing, and then that way if the standards are reading correctly, you know that everything in between is accurate and sound. So we offer two different standards here. One is an oil-based standard. Uh, it's a little bit more robust, but it can be more difficult to clean if you're working with aqueous samples. We also have an aqueous standard that's uh, a little bit uh, easier to use if you're working with those aqueous samples, but it does have to be refrigerated and it can expire after a year. So there's some trade-offs for each. Um, so now I'll show you the, uh, the basics of running a standard. So I have here uh, an N10 oil, which is good for the AO5 chip that I'm running in the microdisc. And we're just going to go ahead and load that up. Remove any bubbles. And load it into the instrument. Run that, and we're looking for our viscosity to come into 2% uh, of the listed value on the bottle. Or when we're doing replicates, and I typically do uh, triplicate measurements for my standards, we're looking for uh, those values to fall within 0.5% of each other. If it's not falling within those uh, within those standards, uh, you may need to clean the instrument. And, uh, and try testing those again. If you're used to working with rotational systems, a lot of times the error there is caused by improper sample loading or a bad geometry. Um, here we're eliminating all the variables as far as sample loading because we're just drawing the sample up into a syringe. Um, but the one thing you do have to be careful of, as I mentioned, is, uh, is if that channel gets uh, clogged either from residue or fibers or particles in your samples. Um, so to make sure that, that, that your cleaning protocol is working and you don't end up with residue in your cell, we have these uh, dummy flow cells, which are just blank uh, versions of our flow cell where you can pass your sample through and then see how many passes of cleaning solvent it takes to fully clean it out and do a visual inspection to make sure that that's working. So running a system suitability check is a, uh, is a great way to make sure that your data is accurate and reliable every time you're doing your testing. Hi, my name is Gordon Stack, and I'm a technical specialist here with RioSense. Um, today we're talking about system suitability and, uh, I'm sorry, <laughs> accurate. Um, we offer two different oils here. We have an, um, oh, sorry, yeah. Because we've eliminated any sample loading issues, we're just loading up the syringe. Um, that's, that's taken care of and...